Hi guys, welcome to the Board of Studies portal, whereby we are trying to be covering every possible question from the Board of Studies portal that ICA has made. We are taking questions from there and trying to be solving them. All the MCQs that are there one by one. Our attempt is basically to be doing every little thing that is possible in SCPM. Our complete course is already there in case somebody wishes to be enrolling, link is there in the description and any help that you might require from us regarding this subject can be availed of by writing to us on our telegram ID at the rate AJ next. Let me also just remind you that all our CA inter lectures, not final, CA inter lectures will be shortly available on YouTube. Everything in the regular course of my previous batch will all be available. Whereby we are trying to be doing the classwork section. We have a good amount of homework section for the kids to be solving themselves. We have tests at the end of each and every chapter. We have summary of every question. We have ranking of every question that ensures that like, you know, a student can be getting 90 plus if they watch each and every lecture, does the homework section give all the tests. Do spread this to your friends who are there in CA Inter. It will help them because they don't have to be paying a single rupee for it. And complete lectures will all be coming on YouTube channel. Okay. Let's start it off. It's chapter number six. That is all about the decision making and relevant costing. So which one of the following is not a drawback of cost plus pricing approach? Okay. So we have to say which one of them is not a drawback. Okay. So option one is there is no incentive for the managers to operate in a cost effective way. Okay. Second one, the pricing method does not consider customers value perception about the product. Fine. Third one. It ignores the structure of the market in which the firm operates. Okay. It requires market research to understand competitor strategy. Okay. See, now the question was all about what is not a disadvantage of cost plus pricing approach. So I thought, let me just tell you what is cost plus pricing approach. This is whatever you did, I guess, in CA Inter most often, whereby you find out your cost, you find your cost first. Okay. Once you find out, then try to fix up the profit margin that you all want. Okay. Once that is done, you will get the selling price. Okay. Now try to be thinking that all these things, if you try to be fixing selling price like this, what drawbacks will you have? We have to find out which is not a drawback. Okay. But what drawbacks will you have? Let's try to be identifying them. So therefore, first, there is no incentive for the manager to operate in a cost efficient way. Obviously, there is no incentive. Why? It's simple because you are going to be finding out your cost. You are going to be finding out your cost. If your cost is higher also, what really does it matter? It will get passed over to the customer. So manager does not have any incentive to be controlling the cost because he knows that any extra cost that he incurs ultimately will get absorbed by the consumer only. So first one is a drawback for sure. Second one, the pricing method does not consider customer's value perception about the product. Absolutely, this is a big drawback. Suppose your cost in this case was say 100 rupees. You thought I want a profit margin of 50. So therefore, uh, you fixed up the selling price of 150. But customer for such kind of products is not willing to pay more than 120 rupees. You do not take that thing into, in, uh, into account. So obviously, customer's perception about the product is of no use under this kind of a pricing. That's a very big draw. See, ultimately you might fix your selling price, but it is for the customer. No, customer has to be buying your product. Suppose tomorrow I start to be thinking my cost of uh, say making one batch, okay, of SCMP is say 20,000 rupees, okay, per student. And I want a profit margin of 50,000. So therefore I will sell the course only for 70,000 rupees. Nobody will be interested, okay, because the perception of the students is, sir, that this is a self-paced course. In any case, marks are not counted. Why should we pay so much? Okay, it's absolutely correct. Okay, so this is a drawback. Okay, next one. It ignores the structure of the market in which the firm operates. Of course, it ignores the structure of the market. Okay, now suppose like, you know, in the entire industry of which you are a small part, okay, its average cost is say, 90 rupees, but you were inefficient, your cost is 100. 
you will think your cost is 100 you will add up the profit margin you will fix the selling price okay now but then this selling price will not get accepted only by the customer so therefore you ignore whatever is the structure of the market in which the firm operates if there is heavy competition in the market okay then you will have to bring down the selling prices it ignores such kind of a thing if there is very less competition, I would like to be charging high, but then it ignores all these particular things. It only tries to be saying, this is my cost. Okay, this is the profit that we want. So therefore, this is the pricing. Okay, so therefore that might not be correct. It ignores the structure of the market. Lastly, it requires market research to understand competitors strategy. Honestly, this kind of a technique does not require any strategy from anybody. It is very simple. You find out your cost, what you have to be doing with whatever is a competitor's cost. Okay. So therefore, this is not a drawback. Okay. Like first three are drawbacks. The last one is just, uh, I guess, a useless statement to be making. It is not part of cost plus pricing yaar, as such. So out of the four, I guess four should be the correct answer. Yeah, that is the correct one. That's it from my side. And uh, we are ending to, uh, today's lecture. This is whatever ICA has given. I'll read it once. It's false that cost-based pricing requires market research to understand competitors' strategy. It is purely based upon the cost that the company incurs and the markup or the profit margin. It does not consider competitors, strategy, market demand, customer perception, market conditions, etc. Okay, that's it from my side. I'll see you all some other time. Uh, by the way, this is the QR code for the playlist, uh, which has all the MCQs from the SCPM module. Do check them up. I'll see you all next time in another lecture. Good day. Bye.